Thank you. Lawmakers convicted of a crime still getting state pensions paid for with your tax dollars. Now, we were told last summer this would be changed by the end of the legislative session, but nothing ever happened, and the 2016 legislative session just started. So, in tonight's New York State Exposed follow-up, Amanda Shavari is asking if anything will be done to this time to prevent convicted lawmakers from getting their pensions. Amanda. And Janet, let's put this in perspective for our viewers. According to the state controller's office, the state is paying about $531,000 each year to 14 state lawmakers convicted of a crime. Both the governor and the speaker of the assembly have said publicly that they reached an agreement on a bill that would strip pensions away from elected lawmakers convicted of corruption charges. But that announcement came months ago, and here we are, still no law. That's what it's about at the end of the day, actually getting results done. That was back in April, and a few months later, we are still asking, when will we see change in the New York State pension system? But we've yet to see a vote. Why is that? Well, we will be coming to a vote before the end of session. Well, the 2015 session came and went and still no change. And here we are starting the 2016 session and still waiting. And that's frustrating for people like David Tomer. The pension because of the way it was structured for tax purposes within Kodak, I lost when the bankruptcy occurred. Dave Tomer worked hard for 26 years and has never been convicted of a crime, but he still doesn't get his pension. And look who does. Convicted former Speaker of the State Assembly, Sheldon Silver, filed for his pension that amounts to about $90,000 per year. Silver was convicted of trading favors for $4 million in kickbacks. Another person who's collecting, the former New York Senator leader, Dean Skelos. A jury found him guilty of using his office to extort about $300,000. But he's still eligible for a pension that could be more than $95,000 per year. It is ludicrous, in my opinion, that you can convict a lawmaker of a felony and then you have to pay the pension going forward. The governor tells us it's on the legislature to get the bill passed. Hearing that, we went to Joe Morelli, who's second in command in the New York State Assembly. When do you think that we might see something be introduced into the assembly? Well, we have a proposal introduced, and I agree with the governor, that the forfeiture of public pensions by elected officials who have uh, uh, you know, not lived up to the public trust uh, is important. We're working out the language. Uh, we have been uh, concerned that we do this in a way that the Constitution is, uh, is written properly because this takes a constitutional amendment, so it takes a little time to do. And with that time that it takes for this, do you think this is something we'll see in the, in the first part of the session, or will it take a little bit longer perhaps by the end? No, I would hope that we could do it before the end of the session. If you'd like to see pension reform, we're telling you to reach out to your local state lawmakers and encourage them to pass legislation through that would strip away pensions from convicted lawmakers. We've made it easy for you to reach out to those representatives. Just go to WHUC.com and click on the Contact Your Elected Officials tab. Amanda Shavari, News 10 NBC.